Hey everybody, welcome to the highlights channel of the Ranveer Show. It's TRS Clips, your one-stop shop when it comes to fast knowledge gathering. Enjoy. What do we not understand about our solar system? We don't know how many planets are there. Oh, f really? <laughs> really? Yes. Like there could be more that are like undiscovered. There's way more than we imagine. Further than Pluto or further than Pluto. We are discovering new minor planets all the time. First, we thought it was only up to flu up to Pluto. Then we discovered something called Eris, further away from Pluto, which is bigger than Pluto. We have discovered Sedna. We have discovered Quaoar, Make Make, Haumea. Lots and lots of these objects. And there is most likely something much more massive out there, which is distorting in the orbits of far away solar system objects in the Kuiper belt, etc. But it's all revolving around our sun. Yes, the same sun that we see. Yes. Why are we not taught this in science textbooks? I have no idea. Maybe it's it's something that happened very recently. So these discoveries have happened typically in the past 15 20 years. And maybe science textbooks are updated every 200 years or something. I don't know what it is. So that's why <laughs> it, it takes a little bit of time, you know. Wow. Um fuck. Do we know what's on these planets? Uh, these these are classified as minor planets nowadays. It's a bureaucratic thing. What tag you put on what thing? Pluto was one of the planets earlier. Now they are classified, reclassified it as a minor planet. And then there are planetoids and planetesimals and whatnot, Kuiper belt objects and trans-Neptunian objects. All kinds of various categories have created. But these are all solar system objects in orbit around the sun. And most likely, way beyond the orbit of Pluto, there is something unknown out there. A massive object. More massive than the Earth, most likely, which is causing the orbits of the objects that orbit so far away to be uh, inclined at a certain angle, which would not happen otherwise. So it looks like there is something more, much more massive out there. At least one super Earth kind of planet, but it's so far away, or maybe it's so dark that we can't see it. Why do you call it super Earth? And Because not its mass is is most likely going to be a multiple of that of Earth. Okay, like three, four times, maybe ten times, possibly. Why don't you call it Super Jupiter? Because it may not be a gaseous planet. It may be a terrestrial, rocky kind of planet. Possibly, possibly. More important, maybe, maybe it's a black hole. Really, maybe it's a small black hole in orbit around the sun. That would explain why it's not visible. <laughs> Who knows? It's a possibility. And our physicists is actively looking for these mysteries. Astronomers are actively looking for Planet Nine or Planet X, whatever you want to call it. They are, but they, thus far they have found nothing. Mm, maybe it's the closest wormhole for all you know. <laughs> Possible. Wow. Okay, mind bent already. Um, anything else that fascinates you about our solar system? Um, I think everything is fascinating. I'm fascinated with with Venus. It's our closest. I think it's one. Of, it's either Mars or, or Venus, which is the closest. Maybe maybe Venus. It. Is a very Earth-like planet, almost the same mass, but one day on Venus is I don't know how many years on Earth. Like the rotation speed is very very slow, and it it rotates in the opposite direction as what Earth and other planets rotate, and the atmosphere is about 300 times thicker than that of Earth, and there is a constant rain that falls on Venus. It's sulfuric acid rain. There's lightning. It's it's a uh, Torrid environment. It's hot enough to melt lead. The atmospheric pressure is about 300 times that of Earth. It's very reflective, and uh, yeah, it's it's a mystery. You know why did this planet become like that? What kind of? It's clearly a runaway greenhouse effect that happened on this planet, right? So that's a mystery. And there are various uh, moons of Jupiter and Saturn that could harbor life because they seem to have under surface, subsurface oceans of liquid water. We can see that on certain places in in certain moons. Then there is this moon of Saturn called Titan that has hydrocarbon lakes, and it seems to have uh, it clearly has a very thick atmosphere. Um, the Huygens probe did touch down on Titan. It, we for the first time saw what the surface of this moon looks like, and there are many more mysteries out there. So it's a fascinating place. Our own solar system we understand so little about it. It's quite possible that there could be microbial life. On some of these moons, because there is liquid water out there, there is a geothermal activity on these moons. Yeah, it's even possible that there could have been life on Mars in the past, because we know there is, there was flowing water in oceans on Mars. There are so many mysteries. The solar system itself is is incredibly fascinating. Mm. You know, you spoke about there being microbial life on these moons. 
for all you know there could be something larger than microbial life maybe some sea monsters down there if possible we, if you enjoyed this video just know that this entire channel is full of playlists that'll take you down different pathways of learning all sorts of subjects all sorts of genres all sorts of guests but the one commonality lots of knowledge enjoy trs clips